In this demonstration, we're going to show a fresh DevTest workstation install on a Windows system. We start by verifying access to our DevTest server. So we have access to the server. Now we bring up DevTest Portal to verify DevTest server components are actually running. Login as admin admin. The portal has come up, so now let's look at server health under monitor server health. And we can see we've got one VSE, a coordinator, and a simulator running on our server. And uh, the components are all there and operational. Note that the workstation only installation has changed starting with version 10.2 of DevTest Solutions. In addition to the installation or Lisa home directory created for executables, there's a new data directory created for workstation specific configuration and user files. This new directory allows users who don't have write access to the installation directory to continue to use and modify workstation files. We have the downloads directory open in Windows Explorer. We can see that the DevTest Windows 64-bit installer and optional demo server zip file have already been downloaded and unzipped. Demo server isn't required for a workstation only install, but provides both the Lisa Bank and Forward Cars sample applications and support files that are handy when learning or verifying workstation. Note that no license file is necessary for the workstation only install. Before we start the installation, notice that under program files, we don't have a CA directory here, so the product hasn't been installed yet. Okay, so let's uh, double click the installation executable. We have the installation introduction screen shown with the version, so let's continue. The first thing we have to do is accept the license agreement. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, click I accept, and click Next. Here we get to select components. You can either select workstation and server together with all of the components or just workstation, and we're selecting a workstation only install. So we uncheck server and we click Next. There are two directories that are involved in installation. One of them is the destination directory, which we refer to as Lisa Home. This is where the dev test executables get installed, and the default for this directory is C Program Files CA Dev Test. We also have a data directory, which is new in 10.2. This is where the user-specific dev test files get placed. We'll look at these directories after the installation completes. So we take the defaults and click Next. As mentioned earlier, Demo Server here provides both the Lisa Bank and Forward Car sample applications and support files. We click Install Demo Server, which needs a path to the Demo Server zip file. The demo zip file is in the downloads directory. So we click Next. And we select the Start Menu folder for populating the menu system. We say yes to that. And we're going to create desktop icons as well. So we just allow that. Click Next. There are file associations that you can select. We take the default and click Install. And within a few minutes, the installation completes. The screen talks about firewalls and checking the documentation for details on firewalls if you encounter problems. We click Next and the final panel tells you that the installation is successful. So at this point we click Finish. Notice that on the uh, desktop we've got the new icons that have populated. If we bring up the Start menu, All Programs, you can see there's a Dev Test Solution folder with the different components here as well that can be launched. So let's look what files actually got installed. If we go back and look at um, Administrator, we can see that there is a new directory that's been created called DevTest, and there's a lisa.user.properties file that got created as well. We can see under the system that we have a CA directory with DevTest and the different uh, binaries and uh, other components that have been installed that are executables. If we go back to um, Administrator and we look in this uh, dev test directory, what we have is a hot deploy and a locks directory here currently. So to actually complete the installation and populate these directories, what we have to do is start workstation. So let's do that now.
So we start workstation. So at this point, we need to specify the path to the registry. By default, it takes uh, DT client, but we know that our server is on DT server. So we do that, DT server 2010 registry. We'll tell it to automatically start here the next time we start up workstation, click OK. We've connected to the registry. We'll specify admin admin for username password, log on. At this point, we're presented with the migrating data with projects panel, since this is the first time we've started up workstation after the install. The panel is asking us whether we want to copy any previously existing directories and files into the new data directory. You can enter the directory path to an already existing dev test directory into this panel or manually copy them over later. Note that dev test will always copy over the sample configuration templates and sample projects, including cars and Lisa Bank project files from the Lisa home directory, even if skip is pressed. So we take the default, click Next, and it says that it's found logging properties and de-identify XML as two files. There are additional files that have been copied over or created. We'll be looking at those. So at this point, we click Finish, and Workstation comes up. We can see here that the project directory for examples is actually under User Administrator Dev Test, which is the data directory that uh, we created. Let's look at components to verify that workstation is actually here. If we expand and take a look at this, we can see we've got simulator, and the simulator is sitting on DT server, the coordinator as well, and the VSE is. So the workstation has access to those components. Well, let's just minimize that. Again, looking at the data directory, we can see that it's been populated. We've got an examples directory, which has the examples project in it. We have a hot deploy directory, which has uh, jar files and assorted other things that have been copied over. We've got a lib directory with nothing in it currently. Um, here's our locks directory. And the projects directory has been copied over as well. And here's our Lisa Bank and Cars projects that were created during the install of demo server. So those are the directories that have been populated into the dev test data directory. So at this point, we've successfully installed dev test workstation on a Windows desktop.